10. Hello, ladies and viewers. Welcome to Saturday Kitchen with me, Morris Delaney. I'm here with two of the top country chefs, the chefs in the country, by which I mean chefs from England, who've got a scratchy ingredient list, by which I mean not very many ingredients, and they've got to whip up a culinary frenzy for us on two separate plates so as not to mix the meals, as done in most restaurants. Okay, they're going to introduce themselves in a moment, but first, we've got two chefs who are going to cook a meal from scratch. And don't you worry, mums out there, it's always going to be healthy meals, no saturated fats, and it's a meal from scratch without saturated fats. Okay, guys, let's keep this moving. But first, the two chefs cooking the non-saturated fat meal, and it's healthy, so the mums needn't worry. Let's go, introduce yourselves from now. Wait, not yet, from now. Hello, I'm Karen Delaney. I'm Karen Delaney, and I'm studying history. Oh, and hi, uh, my name's Stan Guppy. Um, treat me kindly. <laughs> Let's get on with the cooking, Brilliant. shall we? Let's get on with the cooking. And first, I've got this garlic. I'm going to roast it up fine. Keep it easy. Keep it real. Do you like garlic? You've just That's brilliant. It. Okay, carry on. I'm going to take this celery, raise it up nice and easy, roast it down fine, keep it easy, keep everything easy, move it about, keep it moving, if it, lets, if it rests for any longer it'll gather a bit of dust, don't want that kind of thing going on, got your hair, don't get that in the way, chop it all off before you cook, that's the main thing you need to remember, you can't ever put it in a bun because there's always a risk that maybe a little bit of hair will get in your dinner, get your garlic out, smack it on the wall, blatter it around, best to mix on the walls, and then scrape off all you can from what you get off those walls. You don't want to do it in a plate because then you can lose some of the saturated fat. So you're very inspired by Moroccan cooking. Have you ever been to Morocco? Yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, Tom. I mean, Lucy, what's your name? Stan, let's keep it moving. We don't have garlic. Brilliant, okay. Now back to you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this in the oven now and roast it for a good two seconds. One, two, done. And now we can take it out and we can check it out. And now we're going to put it in again. One, two seconds, done. And then we're going to do that. We're going to repeat this action until the two seconds adds up to one hour. Okay, that's all we've got time for. But first, we're going to continue with the chef we've got here who's going to cook us up a lovely meal. Okay, Stan, you're going to show us how to make the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, carry okay, on. Okay, back to me, and I'm taking this out. Uh, this is one I did earlier. It's steaming, it's hot, it's tasty, and you know you want to get your mouth on that, baby. But now you've got to come over here, because I've got to make the garnish out of this duck's liver. Brilliant, that looks lovely. Now, Stan, what do you think about that? What? I think... Come on, spit it out. That... You're going to let me speak? Yeah. Come on, don't say I that. I love sauce, you got to have sauce on all your food. Okay, shut up now. Let's And now you. we're going to take this roasted duck liver and we're going to shave it down using this toothbrush kind of thing. I don't know what it is. What's this? It's a toothbrush, yeah, for your teeth. Cleaning your teeth. Remember, guys, it's important to clean your teeth. Do you, do you clean your teeth much? Well... Okay, that's a bit irrelevant. Let's carry on with the cooking. Okay, now I'm going to take this duck liver, splat it on this man's face here, make sure that it rubbles around a bit on his stubbly, 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 stubbly. Oh, no, we got this new idea coming out. What's... How you doing? Let's get on with this. Next. <laughs> okay, bringing up... Next up, we've got Lucy from Shoreditch. She's going to tell us all about the weather and whether she thinks rain is a good thing or a bad thing. Rain's the main problem in Spain, but on the plane, it makes me feel like I'm in a pain in my knee. Okay, and then we've got Michael from Lustwith, who's going to tell us whether he thinks... <laughs> Turns out he doesn't. <laughs> and then we've got Sarah Hoof, who is from uh, Hundred Reasons <laughs> Wood, near Winnie the Pooh. And she's going to decide what she likes. I like chocolate in the mornings, but I never eat too much crisps. Because when I'm early in the mornings, I like to make sure I have a good bath with my toothbrush at my bottom. Thank you. Okay, and next we're going to go to um, Teddy Sheringham, who used to play for um, uh, Tottenham, and he's going to tell us. I'll tell you, all right? Good. Nice, Teddy. Okay, that's all we've got time for. But first, that's all we've got time for.